morning, everyone. Hello. So someone had some questions about the default pose of things. Um, and someone in my Discord had a question about how to kind of change the locomotion uh, for an avatar, specifically kind of the default pose. Um, and I just wanted to explain what VR chat does and how you can tweak that to your liking. So when we look at an avatar, we have, um, let's just imagine it's empty right now. This is what you're looking at. I have my character here. You can see the full um, setting. This is Shimo. This is a client commission uh, that I've created. Um, and she has uh, her hierarchy here with this top object. And this is where you would find the our descriptor. And then there we have this playable layer section. These are customizable. But if you leave it on a default, basically what VRChat does is fills it in for you. So default doesn't mean empty. Default means that VRChat is going to put in custom in its own information into these layers. Now the base, additive, gesture, action, FX, all can affect things on the avatar in separate ways. Generally, you're working in the FX layer. But if we want to change the movement of the character, how they look when they sit, walk, stand, th that kind of thing, that is all in the base layer. Now, the cool thing is VRChat actually, what they put in here, they give you an example. So if we close our entire project here and we open up the packages folder, you can see we have the VRChat SDK avatars folder. And in here, break it down, samples, um, controllers is where we can find uh, what's actually being added to the avatar. And that is right here, this locomotion layer. So when we're looking at this, we can see <clears throat> the different states. Um, and this is pretty cool because this is, so if you want to just, instead of coming up with your own logic for when things should play, this gives you the framework for why things happen in a certain order. So we can see that, for example, we have the velocity. So this is when the character is moving, rounded, upright, seated, AFK. All of these things are things that happen to the avatar. These are parameters that avatar, or sorry, that VRChat influences on every avatar. Um, but if we go into these states, you can see that these are actual animation clips. And as I click on it, get this little preview here of this random guy. Um, play, nothing happens. Um, but each of these clips can be adjusted. So generally when I'm tweaking a character, I don't usually create my own custom walk cycle. And you'll notice that this isn't a walk cycle. These are just poses in certain directions. So it's, it's a little different than a, when you might think about making a character. You might think, oh, I need to make a full walk cycle. For VR chat, that's not quite the case. Again, you, you could make your own walk cycle. But uh, what they do instead are these poses. So if I click on this clip, it's going to open it up in my project. And you can see that just under where I initially opened up these controllers, um, we actually have all the animation clips right here. So what I'm looking for when I want to customize my character are the still or standing or idle. So those are all, we have the crouch still. Um, have the low uh, crawl still should be standing still. Um, and there's some variations on that, but generally this is the one using. And you'll notice that in here, you can see it there. Now, in order to create a custom version of this whole thing, there are three things you would want to duplicate and extract out of your template. First are these blend. So these blend trees allow you to blend between a bunch of different animations. But you notice that there's one for each crouching, prone, standing. Um, now, this, uh, all of these, so we want to duplicate this one. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm going to duplicate the blend tree um, that we want to change. And that may be all of these. Um, you want to duplicate the animator itself and then whatever animation clips you want. So we'll do this one at a time. First, I'm just gonna adjust the standing. So take that. I've made a little folder for myself.
uh, just have tutorial folder that contains or the empty empty animator for now. But I want to take this one I just duplicated, put it up here, drop it in, boom. And I'm going to take my locomotion layer, duplicate it, grab that, move it up, drop it, then pull down again. I'm going to take my standing still. You could do any of these, but what we're going to do is create var a variation. So we're going to use this as a starting point. Move that up again, drop it right. Okay, so now we have, I'm going to just close this up so it's a little bit clearer. We've got uh, the scene that I'm in, which is the scene with Shimo right here. Um, we have an empty animator, which is literally as it sounds, an animator with nothing in it, just one layer and no animation clips. We have the uh, custom, the, the, the the template from VRChat that we've duplicated. We're going to rename this to Shimo Locomotion. That's going to be our locomotion animator that we will plug into this spot eventually. We'll just pop that out later. And then as well, we have the um, Shimo uh, standing blend tree. Uh, now these little objects here, the blend trees that you can actually put in your project hierarchy are super useful. If you're ever making a blend tree, this is a total tangent. I would recommend duplicating these and just having it as an object. That way you have a backup. Anyway, so for the, well, let's first take a look at the animation itself. So I'm going to take my empty animator and I'm going to drag it onto the topmost object in my avatar. That's the one with the animator right here. Okay, I've assigned that. Avatar, topmost object, right into the animator. Um, what that allows me to do is now I can add my animation clip. Um, here, proxy stand, and we can drop it into here, right here. Okay. Give me a warning. The warning is because of the mask. I need this mask. Um, so we have proxy stand still. Actually, I'm going to delete that. And before we get in, do exactly what I did with the other objects, which is what I'm going to do. Email stand still. Drop it in. Email stand still. Okay. Why am I putting in the empty animator? That's so I can just preview it in edit. If I go here and I hit preview, you can see we pose. Now, um, specifically to uh, the one asking questions in Discord, uh, the reason your feet are in different posi positions for your avatar is because your bones are a slightly different orientation than the intended avatar. So when I, when I click on this animation clip, you see how I get this character here? You can imagine that this was the character that all the animations were designed for. Works perfectly for this character. But if your bone orientation, your bones are in slightly different with almost every avatar, this almost every character, this case, that your character will be in slightly different. So with that in mind, when we click on our character and we have our custom animation clip and we preview it, we can actually go through this whole set of parameters and adjust the positioning to our liking. So let's start with, I think, one of the more obvious ones, which is the arms. The arms are kind of just like floating out there. So all we can need to do is just search for wherever that arm is. Let's see, right arm twist, right arm front back, right arm down up. That's what it sounds like. And we can just grab that little value, slide it. One, left, up, down. And we can just kind of, um, and if I look a little arrow here, so I can see from the side, it's like one of the feet is down, a little further down, which is kind of odd. So all of those are in here as well. But oh, that was twist in and out, up, down. Side. 
Oh, that's right. Um, I have um, That's okay. We can just remove that for right now. That's that's more for custom stuff for the character, not relevant to most avatars or this tutorial. We're all over the place right now. Okay, look, Shimo, back to previewing our animation. And now we should be able to, yeah, okay, he looked quite different. Now we should be able to adjust um, values. So for put twist in out, you can see we can kind of move that, get that oriented properly. Right foot, foot. Something like okay. Now we've got our feet oriented properly, and we've got our arms oriented properly too. And again, this is just an example. You can put your character in whatever pose you want. And for some people who may be wondering what these values are, why they look different, they're not bone rotation values. These are um, animation values for a humanoid rig. So when your avatar comes in, it becomes a humanoid rig, and these are adjusting the properties of a humanoid skeleton. So generally, for let's exam for example, forearm stretch or foot up down, you have a range of zero to one from maximum to minimum extension of, of your foot or actually sorry, it's negative one, zero, one is the range. And you, you blend between those. You can go past it or below it, um, and you can adjust these values to your liking. But they're not rotations, they're, they're ranges. Um, so it's a little bit different um, compared to actual bone rotation val values. Yeah, so that's how we got our cust custom animation clip made. Now we'd like to update our character with the actual locomotion. Um, animator. So I'm going to turn off the preview. I don't have to, but I will remove the an uh, the test animator on top of the character. And instead, we're going to open up the VRC avatar descriptor, click on the base, and then take that other uh, animator we made, Shimo Locomotion. And we're going to drop that. Um, now we've applied it to our character. We still haven't updated this locomotion. That's what we'll do next. So if we go down here, you can see we're on Shimo locomotion. We can go into standing and on, uh, actually, no, we won't go into standing. We will click on standing and here, we're gonna replace that blend tree. Our own. It says that you're deleting it and you're not really, it's a bug, but uh, we're replacing that with our Shimo blend tree. Then we can either go into here to adjust it. We're clicking on it. List of all the animations. And we're just going to replace proxy standstill, Shimo standstill. I also could have just clicked on the blend tree directly adjusted it. And that's all we need to do since we're not creating an entirely custom animator. We're just uh, retrofitting the template that's been given to us. In order to adjust the standing pose, uh, that's all we need to do. We could have also adjusted the crouching, the prone, the jump and fall, all of those things we can tweak. And it's pretty much the exact same thing. Crouching has its own blend tree. Prone has its own blend tree. Uh, jump and fall has got this. A little crazy looking, but relatively simple. Because all, you, all you're doing, you're not adjusting the animator logic. Just going in, swapping out this animator. Because you can just click and go, well, what does this look like? All right. So what does this look like on my character? Drop it on your character in the same way that I did before um, by putting it in your empty animator. Duplicate, put it into your folder, put in your empty animator, preview how it's looking. All you have to do is swap it out in here. Makes it quite simple um, relative to other things you can do for your character. And now we've applied it to our character. Um, so I have the gesture manager on, so I'm just going to enter play mode. 
show you how to add that to your scene, but this is an emulator if you're unfamiliar. And now I've got my custom. See it right off the bat. Um, and she looks pretty good. I think, uh, you know, there's a lot of additional things you could add, especially for like the walking animations in VR chat are, are they're pretty goofy. Um, but I think on a Wait, uh, just to wrap things up so you know next steps, that's pretty much it for changing the animations and getting your custom locomotion later, layer added to your character. At this point, I could just upload my app. If that's all I wanted to do, good to go. Um, and again, just to review where everything is, all of the templates exist in the samples folder in your VRChat SDK avatar folder, which is in not in not in your main folder, it's in the packages. Packages, our chat SDK, samples, everything's in here. I mean, it's, I think once you're poking around in it, it's pretty clear what's what. Um, just remember that you want to duplicate these, extract them. If you edit these ones, I don't think it'll affect your other characters, but it might. I, I have not tried to do that. <laughs> I've never adjusted the, those values directly. I always just create my own variants. Uh, you know how that goes. But if you have any other questions or concerns, you can always head over to my Discord. I'm going to drop a link for that below. Um, hopefully this helps with uh, uh, um, my editor's question about how to adjust the bone orientation. Because again, all you're going to do to fix, fix the look of it, is just take that animation clip move it to look exactly how you want it to. You can do this for crouching, standing, prone, your hand gestures, any of these things, any of the things that are default to the VRChat avatar, look at and send that samples. But again, Discord link will be down below. You can catch me streaming live every weekday on YouTube and Twitch. So have a great rest of your day.